Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is testing on Windows 11 build 26120.3653, also known as the KV50-53658 in the Vera channel. In addition, this video will also cover Windows 11 build 26200.5516, also known as the KV50546687 in the Vera channel, as it includes most of the same changes as the preview in the Vera channel. There is a lot to cover, so let's get started. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It will help me a lot, so please do it. You can also visit my website for more tutorials and related tech news. Okay, first, let's talk about the new recovery feature coming to Windows 11 known as Quick Machine Recovery, which is a new feature aimed to reduce the downtime due to boot failures by automatically detecting and fixing boot issues using the Windows Recovery environment and Windows Update. So basically when a critical failure happens, the system will automatically connect to the network and upload the diagnostic information to Microsoft, and then the device will receive targeted fixes. If a widespread outage is detected, an internal response team is activated to develop body date and prepare a target fix for that specific issue. In this initial release, Microsoft will deliver the fixes via Windows Update, following the policies configured on the device. Now, the cloud remediation is enabled by default on Windows 11 Home, while auto remediation is turned off by default. For Windows 11 Pro and Enterprise Editions, both cloud remediation and auto remediation are disabled by default. However, here's the caveat. Quick machine recovery is a best effort feature. It might not always be able to find a solution for every issue. Now, here's how the process works. When the device fails to boot repeatedly, the system automatically detects the issue and starts the recovery process. Then the device boots into the recovery environment to, to start the quick machine recovery process. After the network connection is established, the device will scan Windows Update or fixes. Now, if no solution is found, the system retries the process based on the configured retry intervals and timeouts. If a solution is found, the system will download it and apply it. After the fix is applied, the device will reboot. If the solution is successful, the device will boot into the Windows environment. If the device fails, the device reboots into the recovery environment again and the process repeats from the step two. So in order to configure the quick machine recovery, we actually have to use an XML file. And in here, we have an example of that configuration file. First, we have to set the credentials if we need to connect to a wireless network. So the device in the recovery environment can connect automatically to the access point and to the internet. Then, and with this line, we enable the cloud remediation. And with this line, we enable the auto remediation. And we also set the total wait time to 120, which is two hours, and the wait interval time to two minutes. So basically, once you configure this feature, in this particular case, the system will wait two hours before rebooting and it will check for remediations every two minutes. Now, if we want to apply this configuration to the computer, in this particular case, I created a folder on the root C and I saved it as an XML file and I used its settings name. Then we need to open command prompt. And in this case, I'm going to use the Windows terminal. And then we need to run this command. And here, make sure to specify the path and press enter. You can always use this command to remove the configuration. And then to confirm the configuration, we need to run this command. And as you can see, we have a view of the XML file with that configuration. Now, Microsoft is also adding a test command. So you can see this in action. But because the computer is working, we're only going to see how the process works, but it's not going to make any changes to the system. And to do that, we need to run this command. And finally, we want to run this command to set the computer to boot into the recovery environment on the next reboot. So now I'm just going to restart the computer and then we're going to see a demo of how this process works. Okay. 
And that's it. That is a first look at the quick machine recovery feature on Windows 11. Let me know what you think on the comments below. But starting with this update, Microsoft is also adding some changes to Windows Narrator. For example, now there is a new speech recap feature, which can help you to track the spoken words from Narrator for a quick reference. So you can access this feature by using the Narrator key plus Alt plus X keyboard shortcut. So just to give you a demo, I'm going to open the uh, settings app and I'm going to go to narrator and I'm going to turn this on. Settings narrator window, close button. Heading settings window. Now, if I actually use the keyboard shortcut, you can see the recap right here. On the page, you will find the last 50 strings produced by the feature. However, the system will delete the saved text every time you start Narrator. If you want to copy the strings directly, you can use the Narrator key plus Control plus X keyboard shortcut. In this release, Windows 11 is also introducing a new design for the green screen when a critical error happens on the system, which is the blue screen version for the preview builds of the operating system. So the screen now has a new design that actually matches the style of Windows 11, while preserving the technical information as you will notice on this screenshot. So moving forward, we're going to have the stop code right here at the bottom. Also in this new design, there is no more QR codes to access more information on the web. Now it's just a simple page. Also for production devices, it appears that the company is going to revert back to the black screen version. Also the development team is bringing back the Windows key plus C keyboard shortcut to launch Copilot on Windows 11. However, you can always change this shortcut. So if we go to settings and then we go to personalization and then we go to text input, then we can change the behavior of the shortcut with the customized compiler key on keyword option. And from here, you can choose search or you can use a custom application. This preview also rolls out the updated version of the Copilot app that adds the new press to talk functionality using the Alt plus spacebar keyboard shortcut, as you can see right here. Now, if for some reason you don't get the uh, Windows key plus C shortcut on the latest preview of Windows 11, one thing that you can do is to use the Vive tool and then you can run this command. So now I just logged in remotely to my Copilot Plus PC because in this update, the quick to do feature includes a few new changes. More specifically, now when we look for it on the start menu, we should now be able to pin the application to the start menu and to the taskbar. Microsoft also notes that when using this feature and selecting text, we are going to see more text actions to create bullet list. However, in my installation, I don't have that. And finally, Microsoft is also expanding the feature to perform text action in Spanish and French in addition to English. The feature is available for the Snapdragon processors with Intel and AMD support coming later. Now, another thing that I noticed on this last preview is that on the settings app, there is a new option on privacy and security that allows you to turn on and off the click to do feature. Now, as part of the app, Windows Share feature, the interface has now been updated. So to show a preview of the content that you're about to share. Also, you're going to find a new edit button and this will allow you to do different things such as cropping and perform different adjustments, applying filters and even do markup. All before sending. This option is available for specific file formats such as PNG, JPEG, and others image formats. There is also an option to compress the file. However, it's not available on my installation. I only get the edit button this time around. Now, if for some reason you don't have this feature enabled on your computer, you can use the Vive tool. And let me show you that you can actually use two specific commands, including this one and this one. Now, just a quick thing is that while checking the uh, Windows blog, I was just looking at the screenshot that Microsoft was sharing on the official notes. And as you can see right now, there is only an edit button and there is no an option to compress the file. So that might come in a later update. And that's the reason why I don't have it on my computer. But as you can see right here, that option exists. Now, there is one thing that I don't like about this particular preview 
is that Microsoft is now removing the bypass NRO script from the operating system. And the company says that this is to improve security and the user experience. And just to give you some context, if you're not aware, in the past, users were able to run the bypass NRO command on command prompt during the initial setup or the out of box experience to bypass the internet requirements to install the operating system without an internet connection and using a local account. So what Microsoft is doing right now is trying to force even harder users to set up Windows 11 with a Microsoft account. However, the good news is that if you want to install Windows 11 with a local account, it is still something that you can do. However, you're going to have to run this command that will edit the registry, skip the internet requirements while installing Windows 11. In the dev channel, Microsoft has also released Windows 11 build 2620.5516, which includes all the same changes as the preview in the beta channel with the difference that this release doesn't include the quick machine recovery feature, but it brings semantic indexing for Intel and AMD processors. I have shown this before, but semantic indexing means that now the system uses AI to help you find file settings and apps using natural language anywhere on the system, including in the search box for File Explorer, Taskbar, Start Menu, and the search experience. And the way you will notice that you have this feature, that's because you're going to see this new icon for search, as you can see right here, the magnifier with the two stars. And if we go to the settings app, you're also going to see it here. So, and just to give an example, right here, I have open File Explorer on the gallery page. And since we can now use natural language, we can type what's inside of the image and the search should be able to find that specific file, in this case, an image. So I know for a fact that I have an AI created image that includes a bear. So I'm just going to type bear. And as you can see, it's right here. We found it. And if we go to the properties for this particular image, and then if we go to the details, we're not going to find anything that refers that this image doesn't include a bear. Now, Microsoft notes that you have to enable the enhanced indexing option in order to get the best result for the search experience. And we can do that by going to settings and then you need to go to privacy and security and then on searching windows search windows right here you have to enable this option now the improvements for search are supported on chinese english french germany japanese and spanish and these are the supported file formats and finally, there is a hidden feature that Microsoft is working on, and this is not available for insiders right now. It's a feature that you actually have to enable manually. And it appears that on Copella Plus PCs, when using Narrator, now the system can use AI to look into an image and describe that image, as you can see on this short video. Analyzing image, name, analyzing image, generating description, now, even though that I don't like AI a lot inside of the operating system, I do like these type of features that actually can help people better use the operating system. Let me know what you think about this feature on the comments below. Now, if you want to enable this feature on your Copala Plus PC, you might be able to do so using the by command. And that's it. Those are the biggest changes that you're going to find on Windows 11, Bill 26120.3653 also known as the KV5053658 in the beta channel, and also for build 26200.5516, also known as the KV5054687 in the dev channel. As always, just let me know in the comments what you think about all these features. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.